think that the Cecil K. Trust is a myth and a 1099A process is a myth. Well, I have receipts. 1099A withholding, okay? Up here you see, any minus sign shown below signifies a credit amount. You see those three M's. There's a couple of ways that you can get into your Cecil K. Trust, okay? And this is just one of them. So stay tuned, follow me, and beware. And this is just one of them. So stay tuned, follow me, and beware. Here's another receipt. A lot of you guys think that the Cecil K. Trust is a myth and the 1099A process is a myth. I'm letting you know now, it's not a myth. These are receipts, okay? Follow me for more, and I'll post more content on this stuff. Celebrities know that time is... Was your first ever credit card? Yes, I say, your social security card is a credit card. Your first credit card. When you was born, and you put your names on this, if you look on the back of this, the number that's in red, the number that's in red, the numbers is, that's in red, that is an account number. When you was born, they put a million dollars in that motherfucker. That's your account number. And it's worth millions. And this way to access this is called the Assessicated Trust through the Social Security. I ain't even talking about the birth of it. It's for by the channel's purposes only. So you have the right to cancel that debt. So you have the right to cancel that debt. Contract. It is a contract for benefits. They may not they'll say it's not, but it is. It's an application for benefits. And any application is a contract. Yes. Yes. I don't want anything from the federal government because I don't want them in my hip pocket for the rest of my life. <laughs> I don't want anything. And anything you paid into Social Security, you can get back if you want to get it back. Yes, you can get it back. But there's only one specific way you can do it. And there's people that have done it. But you have to be prepared to go all the way. You don't start a battle and then turn tail and run at the last minute. You know what I mean? Just be prepared to move forward all the way down the line. You have to file a court of claims. And then if you prevail at the court of claims, you will automatically get all the income tax money since day one refunded back to you. Plus interest. Because the uh, government's wrote many letters saying if you don't have a social security number, you would have no taxable income. When you got your social security number, how many people were told you were giving up your uh, sovereignty? How many people were told you're giving up all your rights? How many people were told that you, you were giving up your right of inheritance? How many people told you you're giving up the right to work to accept the privilege? You know what I mean? How many people were told that when you got your social security number, you're asking for government supervision? How many people were told when you got your social security number, you'd pay 52% of your salary for the rest of your life to the government? Yes. five years depending on how, how well one guy in Florida did it took him nine months guy followed him up took him four years you hear me follow the same suit do you hear me it depends on how you set your case up you have to set the set them up you do your letter writing campaign you follow me and you do this and you do that you you, you set them up so that you have all the evidence on your side and once you have them set up, then you you can move forward. Okay. About citizenship a lot tonight, so I brought my big book on citizenship. <laughs> I talk a lot about citizenship.